thiesen a polygon method it is also a variant it is a variant of a proximal boundary method proximal boundary method was actually used for demarcation of one city for example bhopal ka sphere of urban influence maine mark kiya hua thiesen polygon method you is used to demarcate the sphere of urban influence for more than one city not only of bhopal when what happened in thiesen polygon this was the main city the secondary cities the this city was connected we took a midpoint and drew so it is drawing the sphere of urban influence of only of one city the thiesen polygon method but sorry a proximal boundary method but the thiesen polygon method is used to demarcate the sphere of urban influence of more than one city so this has been used for demarcation of the metropolitan regions what happens in thiesen polygon is you will we will see one boundary ek boundary pehle se hai the boundary can be a state boundary the boundary can be a district boundary the boundary can be a national boundary so for let us take an example of india in india we have used this method for demarcation of the metropolitan regions here now we have a delhi here we have mumbai here we have chennai here we have kolkata here there is already a boundary that is there okay and on this boundary what do are we doing we will join these cities we will join these cities okay and then we are trying to we are trying to actually make the midpoints so humne near comparable cities ko le liya hai and ek boundary already hai तो ये बाउंड्री के अंदर अब हम डिमार्केट कर रहे हैं तो इसको मैंने डिमार्केट किया देन आई विल यूज सम पैरामीटर्स एंड से दिस इज दी स्फीयर ऑफ अर्बन इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दिल्ली आई विल यूज दिस बाउंड्री एंड दिसल से एज दी दिस वन एज दी स्फीयर ऑफ अर्बन इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ बॉम्बे अगेन आई विल यूज समथिंग एंड से स्फीयर ऑफ अर्बन इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ चेन्नई वट आई एम एक्चुअली डूइंग इज वट आई एम एक्चुअली डूइंग इज यर वेट आई विल मेक इट अगेन अभी पहले देख लो Here there is a let's say a boundary, okay. A boundary is already there. A nation boundary, a state boundary, a district boundary, anything can be there. The boundary was not there in the first one. वहाँ पे कोई boundary पहले से नहीं थी. यहाँ पे already एक boundary है. उसके बाद we are taking some cities, one, two, three, four cities. Okay. Then I'm connecting the same city. What I was connecting there? In there I was connecting the cities, right? Here also I'm connecting the cities. Proximal boundary method here. फिर हमने midpoint बनाया, midpoint बनाया, midpoint बनाया, right? And then I connect these midpoint with the outer boundary. So outer boundary से ध्यान में रखते हुए I connect the midpoints. Outer boundary को ध्यान में रखते हुए I connect the midpoints. Outer boundary को ध्यान में रखते हुए I connect the midpoints. So this become A, B, C and D. In that there was no outer boundary. in that only one city was there i was connecting one city with the other cities and then i was making the boundary but this is opposite you already have a fixed boundary and you use that boundary also while demarcating the sphere of urban influence pehle likh lete fir se we will use these examples so this is a variant this is the variant of proximal boundary method it is used for it is used for demarcating it is used for demarcating the city region uh, for more than for more than one city for more than one city the principle is the influence of the city the principle is the influence of the city is measured with respect to another city is measured with respect to the another city of near comparable hierarchy of near a uh, comparable hierarchy and the influence is demarcated using midpoints using midpoints of the line joining the cities within a pre existing boundary within within a, a pre existing boundary okay and then you can draw there is a pre existing boundary there is already a pre existing boundary 
एक प्री एग्जिस्टिंग बाउंड्री है देन आई एम ड्रॉइंग आई वॉन्ट टू नो दिस फ्यूर ऑफ अर्बन इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ मोर देन वन सिटी आई वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट सिटी ए आई वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट सिटी बी सिटी सी सिटी डी I want to know the urban influence of all these cities. So this is a, a pre-existing boundary. We need to know the sphere of urban influence of a city A, comma B, C, and D. Okay, these are four cities within a pre-existing boundary, and I want to know the sphere of urban influence of these cities. What do I do? I join these cities. Okay, then after joining the city, what do I do? I use the proximal boundary method, the midpoint, the midpoint, midpoint, and midpoint. So I know, yaha tak aur yaha tak, is A ka influence hai, ठीक है? B ka influence, ये वाला और ये वाला है. C ka influence is this one and this one d ka influence is this one and this one theek okay. hai then how do i connect this in between i can i can connect it using some ye to the assumption is flat surface here the assumption is flat surface but in reality i use some techniques i use the physical topography and then i use the subjectivity and then i use the subjectivity so there is some kind of subjectivity here also there is some kind of subjectivity involved here also no not necessarily uh, kaveri uh, not necessarily the geographically proximate city alone because this has been used to compare delhi to mumbai to chennai to Uh, to your uh, Kolkata, so they are not proximate. ठीक है, they are not uh, proximate. So this is the uh, Thiessen polygon. This is what? This is the uh, city region of A. This is the city region of A. This is the uh, city region of B. This is the uh, city region of D. This is the uh, city region. of c city region of the c okay so this is thiessen polygon uh, method right about thiessen polygon method all the cities all the cities of the same hierarchy of the same hierarchical level are plotted all the city of the same hierarchical level plot are plotted together in a region together in a region representing a settlement complex representing a settlement complex for us let's say india is a settlement complex okay so all the cities they are plotted in a region representing a settlement complex the cities are joined the cities are joined by a straight line midpoint midpoints are plotted and the different polygon different uh, polygon are enclosed different polygon are enclosed by perpendicular bisectors isliye isko thiessen polygon kehte hain hum polygons bana rahe hain we are enclosing the uh, polygon different polygons are enclosed by the uh, perpendicular bisector and the limits of settlement uh, complex represent the limits of a city region the limits of a city region again i will repeat what is happening here the cities of the same hierarchical level they are plotted in a region in a re region representing a settlement complex this is the a settlement complex all the cities of the same hierarchy all the cities of the same hierarchy they are plotted in the settlement complex the cities they are joined by the straight line the midpoints are drawn and then different polygons are enclosed different uh, polygons are enclosed and then 
by the perpendicular bisector within this we actually represent the city region within this we represent a city uh, region this is the city region of let's say a b c and d this represent a city region of a this represent a city region of b c and d uh, d okay